Okay, I'm going to try a little experiment here. I have a uh, site in development and I just want to update the uh, sort of online development uh, version here for the client. Uh, but he's not available right now and I just realized I don't have the cPanel uh, password to go into my PHP admin and, and upgrade the new database that I've just been uh, working with here locally. Uh, and I have to leave soon, so we're not going to cross paths uh, till this afternoon. So I'm just going to try and experiment until then. It, it may just take the the uh, example site offline for a few hours till I, till I get the password uh, for the cPanel. But I'm going to try using Updraft Plus to basically kind of through FTP uh, use this updated version of the database. So uh, my local host, it's the tba.dev and the uh, test site that for the client is wordpress.tba.com. So uh, first things first, I'm just going to make a backup here. I uh, just need the backup of the database on my local host. And from what I see here, if we go here to the uh, this is what I've, I've saw that that well, I'll just go to current status backup now. No, we don't need that existing backups. We have this upload a backup file. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to upload a backup file to the, uh, the server and hopefully I can use the restore button and then use under advanced tools to search and replace function in theory. <laughs> anyway, I like trying things out. It's not, it's not uh, mission critical if this site goes down, so do not try this at home. Uh, okay, so here's the backup. So let's see if this works. Rescan local, there we go. Okay, yep, that works. So there's the database, and there is a restore button. So let's see, is there anything else I need to do before that? before trying this out. <laughs> I don't know, let's go ahead and try it. Uh, let's replace the database. Search replace, oh, can I do that here? I was gonna do it manually, so let's see if this does it, you know, I, have to, I might as well try this and see if I can just skip a step. Um, anyway, we're gonna just restore it and see what happens. Okay, so looking for a database, current URL, that's it. Search and replace, restore successful. So let's see if it looks like my development website or not. Well, uh, do, do. Yes, it does. It's exactly, uh, not exactly. I guess I have to, uh, I didn't upload the theme changes, but that's easy, that's FTP. So far, so good. Yeah, perfect. That's, yeah, all my changes are there on the live site. So that was easy without having to go to my <laughs> SQL or access to the, the cPanel. Now, of course, you're going to want access to the cPanel if things go wrong. Now, I just have to upload uh, through FTP the, uh, the new um, uh, theme. There's only a few SS, uh, CSS changes, so but that's not so bad. Oh, and there's some uh, files missing in the uh, uploads folder. No big deal. That's easy to, to do. I'll just go upload those files, those images, and uh, and that's that. So it works. Have a great day, and I hope that. Uh, anyway, like I said, don't do this on a live site <laughs> unless you're super desperate. Okay, have a great day.